Andrew, thank you so much for your time. So we've just come out of the um, lorries recently and you were looking in particular at how um, art and creativity have evolved. Um, but talk to us in particular how it relates to business. Yeah, thanks, May. Good to uh, be here. Yes, so the Lurie's really our role is to look at creativity and uh, look at the value that creativity adds across the whole brand communication space. So it really looks at all areas of advertising where a brand interacts with a consumer. So a lot of people think advertising, they think, oh, that's radio, TV, print. But today, advertising is way beyond that space. We look at architecture, we look at interior design, we look at package design, and of course, we look at digital media spaces, but we also look at live events, activations. So it's all those areas. How is a brand using those spaces to build its brand equity and ultimately to uh, increase its bottom line? Mm. Is this what you refer to when you talk about the economy of ideas? Absolutely. So really what you're doing is you're saying, how do you take that idea and how do you turn that idea into something that has economic value? So that really is the key thing. And for us, if you look at South Africa as a country, one of our key focuses is taking young people and bringing them into the creative economy. So if you take a young, talented person today, you're saying, how can I tap into your mind, take those ideas? How can you get value from them? So basically, you are extracting value from ideas that is your ideas economy. So I asked you um, a little while um, off air how old the lorries were. It's like 1978. That's close on 40 years. So I'm not going to ask you what the transition has been since, <laughs> since they started. But, you know, from your sense, being a CEO, what sort of transition have you seen in the last few years um, when it comes to um, creativity, in, particularly in the marketing space? Well, it is an interesting uh, thing, in fact, and an interesting point because they were started in 1978 very specifically because there was the introduction of television into South Africa and it was a way to promote television commercials. So in 1978, television was totally new. It was this crazy new medium. So it was a novel thing and it was a way to say to agencies and brands, how are you going to use te television in a creative way? So where we've evolved to, and the involvement has always been about new media becoming available. So if you take, for example, your phone that you've got there, I'm not sure if that's a, have you got a Samsung HTC. there? Right? Yeah, you see, so I don't know why you don't have an iPhone, but hey, <laughs> everyone to their own choice, you see. Right. So that phone has transformed media. So now people are talking about what's going on on mobile, mm. what's going on on social media. So. It is a new media today. In five years' time, what is the communication going to be? So really the evolution is about platforms and about the way we've communicated, but ultimately the idea is still the most important thing. So your phone is only as good as the content that's on it. Mm. Let's look at some of the um, industries that have um, you know, really woken up to this idea of creativity. Well, again, it's less a case of industries than brands. Yeah. So you say, which brands use creativity to get a competitive advantage? Mm -hmm. And that's the key thing. So it's how do you mm -hmm. make your brand stand out? And often you find it's in specific industries where it's important to stand out. So if you look at it like beverages, mm -hmm. so Coca-Cola as a brand, they've always understood the importance of it. So Coca-Cola for decades has focused on being part of your lifestyle, mm. being part of your story. If you think about drinking a Coke, it's not, no one talks to you about the ingredients, how Coke's made. It's, it's more created a whole pleasurable experience that it's part of your life. It's the same as luxury car brands. People think, hey, I want to own that car, but do you care at all about what's under the hood? Do you, have you even have you opened your bonnet and looked at your at your engine and gone? Oh, I know how this works. But the brand sells you a perception mm. of saying, "Here, I'm selling you this perceived value," yeah. and that is really where brand communication is and where creativity is used so that you can distinguish your brand. Mm. Very quickly, I've got about 20 seconds. Do you get a sense that there's an appreciation on how um, this sort of creativity can help capitalize um, on the bottom line, particularly in the global economy that we find ourselves in? So I think brands now more than ever have understood that creativity has value for them. I think in the past, 
there was less of an understanding and, and the understanding was more that we have to use media platforms and throw money at it. Now brands are saying, where's the idea? I want to buy creativity. Good place to leave it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. That's all we have time for this week. Thanks to Andrew for his input and many thanks to you for tuning in from me and the team here at Business Day TV. Goodbye. <laughs>